Good morning, hello and welcome to today's video. If you watched a previous video, you would know we're here in Sukhothai and today is our very first day and we're gonna go and participate in the Roy Katong Festival. So join us to see what it's like. This is the bungalow we're staying at. Is this not an adorable bungalow? You know, when we arrived here yesterday, it was pitch black and we couldn't see anything. But now that it's daylight and the sun's out, this place is incredibly beautiful. We've got a wonderful infinity pool on the left there with the backdrop of mountain ranges and green plains. We've also got a multitude of different trees, some over there blooming with violet flowers. Wow, what a beautiful resort. Anywhere to Ginkau, you know? Ginkau? Yeah. Himo. Yeah, Himo. Vanilla. Yeah. So we've come to a restaurant called Nakotai and um, basically the staff at the hotel recommended this place. It's really nice, it's got air conditioning and brilliant Thai food. So we've come here for brunch. Nice chimes there. Eh? So an omelette just arrived. Oh, look at that. And so this omelette has bean sprout on it and some nuts. I'm not exactly sure what nuts is inside of that. And then it's kind of like, I think these might be caramelized onions cut into really fine pieces. When you add this to this, oh, it makes it even more sweet. Delicious. Okay, so this is what I've ordered, a bit of chicken and rice. They recommended this, but um, it looks very Western. Oh, this is, this is chili flakes, look at that. I must say the chicken is very tender. So this bowl is like really small fish that you can just eat straight away. Look at this. This is a local dish to the Sukhothai called Ba Dai Boy. Time to get a spoonful of these small deep fried fish. They're so tiny. They're so good though. Looks like it's sitting in some sort of milky broth. And so all this food, including the drinks and the service charge if they have any, Cost us 550 baht. All right, we are now on our way to the historical park, which is an 11 minute drive from this restaurant. So the historical park that we want to get to is just over there. You see where that golden gate is there? But we parked here because there's these really nice food stalls under these straw roofs. And so we want to check it out. Yeah, all the houses here in Sukhothai seem to be made out of wood. It's, it's really nice to be able to see in 2021 still traditional wooden houses here in Thailand. But Amazon Coffee looks modern. It doesn't look like it's neighboring houses. They've tried to go with a timber theme, but it just looks very modern. Nonetheless, still nice. So do you have? Wow, this is a surprise. The timber beams that support this mezzanine are pretty low. Oh, gotta be careful. I can feel the creaking of the wooden planks. Look, can you hear that? That's awesome, man. I feel like I'm in a traditional Thai house. So the time is already 10 past four, so we need to start making our way to the historical park now. Because I believe it starts from about 5 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Car, thank you. Oh, this looks like some good stir fry food. Gosh, there's so many food stalls here. And the smell is great. Chocolate waffles. Mm. So we've just come across the road from where the historical park is to this shop. And I think we're going to rent a little tricycle. Go yellow? Yeah, sticks out, on it? Pick up benzene or electric? electric. How long we can drive? Uh, 20 kilometers. Oh, 20 kilometers. Okay, wow. <laughs> Come on, go, babe. I mean, this is better than walking, right? Oh, we were dying earlier from trying to walk, but this is way better. 27 kilometers per hour. That's all right. At least we've got a nice breeze coming in. Ooh. And we've even got a horn. Wow, that horn is loud. <laughs> uh, does it say how many kilometers? Oh, yeah, it has a battery status of how much juice we have left. So that's good. It's not so easy to steer though, it's very mechanical, right? This is incredible, I love it. 
As we weren't allowed to go inside the historical park with the buggy, we decided to go to a nearby temple that was a four minute drive away called Wat Si Chum. I thought this thing would go quicker. Do we have like a boost function? Wow! We have a boost function! Wow! <laughs> We're now doing 37! <laughs> This is the temple, yeah? What Si Chum, there we are. Nice. Uh, is it on the left or is it on the right? I don't know. Yeah, I know where it is. Look, it's right there. Yes, right there. Maybe we can park around here. Maybe we can park here, right? Yes, we can. Bam. Yeah, I would highly recommend if you're coming to Sukhothai, get yourself one of these. This is a bad boy here. I mean, it is limited to 37 kilometers per hour, but we've had the time of our lives just coming from the historical park to Wat Si Chum here. For foreigner, the ticket is 100 baht. For Thai native, it's 20 baht. Not complaining. We've come on the perfect time. Wat Si Chum. Wat Si Chum is a historical temple that dates back to the 13th century and lies outside the ancient city walls of the Sukhothai Historical Park. The temple is famous for housing a colossal 15 meter tall Sukhothai style Buddha image that bears a serene facial expression and a posture in a subduing Mara form and is called Pra Achana which means one who is not anxious but strong. The mondop in which the Pra Achana is housed in features concaving walls, an open air roof that disintegrated long ago, and an entrance with a long narrow slit that gives a partial view of the Buddha from the outside. On the south facing wall known only to a few is a secret passageway with steps that lead up to the side of the Buddha image and onto a small landing on the wall. Along the walls of the secret passage are 700 year old faded paintings while the ceiling features over 50 chiseled slabs illustrating Jataka scenes of the previous lives that Buddha lived. Prat Achana is also famously known as the Talking Buddha as legend has it that before battle the king would order his troops to visit Prat Achana where the Buddha image would deliver a speech and boost the troops morale and fighting spirit. But what the troops didn't know is that the voice emanating from the Buddha image was actually the voice of someone who the king had cunningly ordered to ascend the secret passage and deliver the speech through a hole, making it out as though the voice they were hearing was the voice of Buddha. Well that's it people, we finished up with Wat Si Chum. Spectacular. Right, time to get back on the golf cart and go back to the historical park where the festival's taking place. Okay, so I just found out there's even a higher boost function, so we can go all up to 47 kilometers. Look at this. Now we're making some distance, people. Look at that. If you guys are ever interested in actually renting that buggy, all you have to do is literally walk across the road and it's right here. Look for Toon Guest House and right, right behind Toon Guest House is this little space here. Okay everyone, unfortunately we've run out of time, so I'm going to cover the Loi Craton Festival in part 2 to this video, which will be uploaded tomorrow, hopefully. 
But as always, make sure you subscribe, like this video and share with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video. Many thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.